Hello everyone, in this video you will learn how to automatically optimize native advertising campaigns using Brax rules. Currently, Brax rules will run on campaigns for Outbrain, Taboola, RevContent, and Yahoo Gemini. There are few things you're going to need to follow along with this video. So first you're going to need a Brax account. If you don't have one, you can create one at Brax.io. There's a free trial available. Second, you're going to need a rule created in Brax already. And then third, you're going to need access to the Brax Marketing API. Um, if you have rules, you should have access to the API. And third, you're going to need the Postman client. Postman allows you to make API calls without needing to know how to code. It makes it really easy for you. So the first thing you're going to do once you have Postman installed is you're going to go to the Brax Marketing documentation. You can just search for Brax API in Google um, or click on the link and you're gonna click on this Run in Postman button. And what that's gonna do is copy some pre-built uh, API calls that we've made for Postman into Postman for you. So once you click on that, we'll go into Postman and you'll have this Brax Console API 1.0 underneath your collection. So make sure you're under Collections and you should see this. Uh, so the first thing we're gonna do before we do anything else is we're gonna create a new collection to run just our rules in because we don't want to run all 26 requests that are in this collection. We just want to run some very specific one for rules. So click new collection, give it a name and click create. Once you've done that, click on the folder next to Brax console API 1.0, click on the rules folder. And then next to this runner rule, click on these three dots and choose duplicate. Now I'm going to drag this one down into my demo collection. So now I have one request in there. I'm going to click on this. So the first thing I need to do is I need to replace this rule ID with the rule ID from Brax that we're going to use. So if I go into Brax and I go to my rules, we're going to be using this rule ID 241. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go back to Postman. I'm going to replace all of this that's red with rule 241. Next, I'm going to click on headers, and I need this basic token. This tells Brax that you're authorized to run this rule. And the way we're going to do, do that is we're going to need your Brax username and password. So this is what you log into Brax with. So to get your username, go to profile, and right here, copy your username. And then in here, we're going to go to this site, base64encode.org and you're gonna put your username, mine's Mark Brax, then a colon, and then your password. So here's mine, it'll be changed by the time you watch this video. So once you have your username and password in there, click encode, and this is the token that you need. So copy this, and we're gonna go back to Postman, and we're gonna replace the authorization key here with the token. You will notice that it says basic, has a space, and then your token. So now we're going to test to make sure this rule actually works, this API call. So click send here. You'll see here it says success and it gives you the job ID that it would create it. So now we know that it's working. Now we're going to set it up to run automatically. And this is why we wanted our own collection. So next to the collection name, you're going to click on these three dots. And you're going to go to monitor collection. And monitor collection basically says, hey, postman, run this API call as often as I tell you to. So I'm going to give it a name, just demo monitor. And by default, it gives you, um, it runs it every hour. But if we wanted to run it, say, every 15 minutes, we choose minute timer and then choose every 15 minutes. If you're running multiple rules, the next thing you're going to want to do is first you want to click on this request timeout. This tells Postman, hey, stop trying this if it takes too long. I have 5,000 in here, which stands for five milliseconds. Um, I mean five seconds, so 5,000 milliseconds is five seconds. The next thing you wanna do if you're running multiple is click on request delay and make this 1,000. So this creates a one second delay between each one and then you click monitor this collection and it is now successfully created and you're all set to go. If you wanna check that this is working, there's two ways you can do this. So first within Postman, you can actually just click on your demo monitor right here on this and it's going to open it up to their website and inside here they show you 
how often it's run. Now this one hasn't run yet, but if I go over to my monitors, I can show you that earlier I was running this and I had it running for every 15 minutes and you can see here that that was doing it. So that's how you can check it in Postman. You can also check it in Brax because you saw we created that job ID earlier. So if I click on rules, and this is the rule that I'm running, 241. I go down here, we see rule ID 241, and here's that job ID 956. And I can click on this to see the actual results of the rule inside BRAC. So these ones are still waiting to be done. That's why it says it's running. If I go to this one from earlier, I can see that it completed. And that's it. When you just set it up and it, your rules will run as, as often as you'd like them to. If you have any questions, just email us at love at brax.io. Thank you.